Latifa Abu Hamed has been praying for her four imprisoned sons for the last 15 years, but this month with greater intensity than usual. They were arrested within a week of each other in 2002, the eldest Nasser given seven life sentences for his part in planning attacks in which seven Israeli citizens were killed. All four have been on hunger strike since the 17th of April. When it hadn't ended after a week, I knew it was going to last. There is not enough support either from within Palestinian society or from the international community. She wants more direct action against Israeli forces, saying protests and vigils have been insufficient. Others are calling for civil disobedience to increase the pressure. On Tuesday, Palestinians blocked an Israeli bypass road in the occupied West Bank. The strike is being led by senior Fatah figure Marwan Barghouti, convicted of involvement in the deaths of five Israelis in a trial whose legitimacy he rejected. He and his fellow strikers are demanding more family visits and phone calls, better medical access and better treatment during frequent transfers from prison to prison. On the outside, Palestinian political factions are debating how best to support them. Kadura Faris, a former prisoner who negotiated an end to a hunger strike in 1992, says now less united Palestinians are taking on a harder line Israeli government. Back then, the government was more moderate. There were signs the peace process might get underway. They still said the strike was political and that they wouldn't talk to us, but in the end, a minister personally came in to run the talks. This week, the present-day Israeli internal security minister called the strike a political act carried out by terrorists whose demands would not be met. Inside Ofer prison, the only Israeli jail in the West Bank, we understand around 130 prisoners are taking part in the strike. For them and the hundreds of other participants, with each passing day, the risks increase. By way of comparison, in 1980, two prisoners died during a strike which lasted 33 days. For these prisoners, it's day 31. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, Rafat in the occupied West Bank.